Hi guys, my name is Harshit and you are watching Digital Sensory. On this channel, I make videos related to WordPress and DB. So if you are looking forward to learn more tricks and tips in DB, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. This way, you'll be notified as soon as I publish a new video. So now let's get started with this video. Hi guys, as you can see that right now in my website on my menu, there are no icons. There is only text. What if I want to add icons? This is the DB website. I am using a DB theme on my WordPress website. And in this video, you're going to learn how you can add icons to your DB menus. Now I'll be able to add icons to the top level menu links as well as the sub menu links. So this is going to be a quick tutorial and I'm going to talk to you in a very straightforward manner that how to achieve this at the end of the day. So now let's get started with this video. The one thing which I want to tell you before is that we are not going to use DB icons in the menus because that would be a very complicated way. Rather we are going to use Font Awesome icons. Font Awesome is an amazing place from where you can get lots and lots of icons and they are free to use as well. Plus they are customizable and have more options than the DB icons. So this is Font Awesome's website fontawesome.com. You can go to this website and click on start for free and create your free account. Now when you will create a free account you will get this dashboard area. So this is my dashboard and it's a free account as you can see. Now I need to integrate Font Awesome to my WordPress website. So that's also a very simple process. To do that, first I need to go to my kit section here. And here as you can see that I already have a kit. If you don't have a kit, then you can click on create a new kit to create a new kit. Now once a kit is created, you just need to click on that kit and then click on copy kit code this is basically the code which you have to add to the header section of our website so that it is integrated to our db website so let me go to my website and then i'll go to db theme options and then i'll go to the integration tab and here as you can see that i've already added this code now since you won't have the code already installed, you need to paste this code here and then scroll down and then save the changes once you are done with that. Now once you are done with that, congratulations you have successfully integrated font or some icons into your WordPress DB website. Now it's time for us to add these icons to menu. So to do that, let's go to appearance and then go to menu. Now you can select the menu from the top which menu you are looking for. In my case, I'm looking for this menu. So this is your menu area. Now, if you want to change your menu or anything, you can do that from here. Uh, you can change the position. You can add sub menus. I think you might already be aware of how to use menus in WordPress. So now it's time for us to add those font or some icons to these menus. So to do that, first, let me go to font or some website and then you have to click on icons on the top. Now you'll see there is a search bar and you can see there are over 7000 icons like just imagine over 7000 icons and you have the option to search as well which is absent in the db icons so that's why i've chosen font awesome over db icons now let's say i want to add a home icon so i'll search for home and as you can see there are lots of amazing icons available here i like this one so i'll click on this one and once i've clicked that you see there are a lot of options available here you have an option to customize these icons you can select the sizes or select different variants so once i've selected any icon i'll click on start using this icon now don't worry about the color we'll be able to change it later so you have to click on this copy html code once you are done with selecting your icon and then you need to go to the menu tab where you want to add it and then before the name in the navigation level you have to paste this now once you have added the same code here you need to click on save menu now you need to do this for all the menu items so i'll go in and i'll add more icons to my menus so i'll go in and i'll select a different item for this one so let's say i want to add this icon to my second tab i'll click on start using this icon i'll copy this code I'll go to my menus and I'll paste that in the seconds navigation level. Make sure you are not pasting it in the URL section. This creates confusion. Uh, you can also add the same icon or any other icon to the sub menu. For the quickness of this video, I'm going to use the same icon. So as you can see that I've added icons 
in all of these links so once I'm done with adding these icons I can click on the save menu and that's it that's how easy it is to add icons to your menus so let's go to our website to see how it's looking so now when I go to my website you can see that all the icons are present here and they are currently in black color by default so now how to change this color if you want to add spacing you can do that as well I'll show you exactly what you need to do so it's a very simple process to do that let's go to our websites TV theme options and now we have to add some CSS here at the end of this um, home tab and theme options at this custom CSS area so I'll provide you with the CSS it's very easy to use CSS you can find this code in the description as well so let me show you how to add it so guys this is the CSS we are looking for as you can see that there are two codes here one is this one and the other one is this one if you want to change color of any particular icon in the menu you, you have to use this one so I'll copy this I'll go to my theme options and I'll paste the CSS code now when you paste this CSS code you have to change two things one of them is the color so you can enter any hex color here so in my case I'm entering 000 you can even type anything like 000 111 or you can pick anything from the internet for example if I go here and I search for hex color code you'll see there are a lot of generators here you can go to any one of them pick any one of these codes let's say I want this one I'll copy this and I'll replace my color with this one so you see now blue color would be appearing in the icon but which icon so in that case I'll go back to my menu and I have to select the class of that so you see there are two classes added here FAS and FA house user so I want this house one icon to be of that color so I'll copy this one I'll come back to theme options and I'll replace this with that now once I do that I just have to click on save changes and now the house icon will come of blue color so you can go to your website and refresh to see if the color of this house icon has changed you can see that the house icon has changed and there is also some space added to the right of this because in our CSS we have added a code padding right 4px now you can also change it or customize it in any way you want now if you want all icons to be of same color then you don't need to do this manually for all icons instead of selecting this class just select this FAS class so I'll copy this class and I'll come to this and I'll replace this with that so you see I've replaced my class with FAS which is common for all icons and this is the color and this is the padding so now all icons will be of this light blue color and they'll have the padding right area you see right now only this icon has changed because we only selected this one but FAS is a common thing which will do it for all the icons out there in your website so you see now all the icons in my website which are using font awesome icons are of this color so this is how easy it is to achieve this this is also working perfectly in phones so I hope you have learned a lot from this video how easy it is to add colored icons to your menus and DV website so thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video. It takes me a lot of efforts to create free videos like these for all of you people. So please consider to subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then you can go to our website digitalsuncity.com slash help and fill in the contact form. I'll reply to that as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. So before you quit, I have an amazing offer for you. I'm giving away free access to all of my digital resources to all of my viewers. These digital resources can be divided in two types. The first thing is layouts. This includes hundreds of templates for Divi, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot of royalty free graphics which you can use on any website. Now the second thing is premium WordPress video tutorials. In the coming weeks, I am creating video courses for all the major WordPress themes and plugins. This will include video tutorials for WordPress, Divi, Astra, Elementor, Visual Composer and lot more. 
So as you can see, I've already started working on them. Now to get all of these premium digital resources, you have to go to my website digitalsuncity.com slash VIP and put in your email address and then you'll receive an email which will contain all of these things. That's it. So go to the link in the description right now and claim all of these resources instantly. I am waiting for you to get my digital resources for free.